Hey, Chris here. This is coming together really, really well. Uh, worked really hard on it this past weekend, and I want to show you a couple things that I did. Obviously, it is now camouflaged. Uh, but the number one thing I did was on the bottom here, I replaced the 3-inch casters with 5-inch heavy-duty casters. And I also put a backbone underneath the bottom there to help support the uh, battery weight and it rolls so much better now and as you can see I've got the dual fan hooked up on there that draws about 8.5 watts on full tilt about 225 CFM so it really really blows great pulls the air out of there before I get to that let me show you one quick thing I did here on the Renogy RNG 100D monocrystalline panels I got three hinges on here heavy duty and it works really good but I do have to get a bump stop they're on order for right here so that when they fold out flat they aren't uh, sandwiching each other or, or trying to do the a really weird bend so that's a little bit later on but let's get right in here to the box I repositioned actually I got a couple more handles here after suggestion from a couple of uh, friends on my Facebook renewable energy page so I put an extra couple handles on there and also use longer lag bolts in there. But you're not going to be able to pull those things out. And also if you have to strap it down to the back of the truck, SUV or whatever, you can put your ratchet strap through there. And as you know, this is going to be a 24 volt system. Let me shut the lid and I'll show you. We'll get inside there in a second. Yeah, I probably should have reversed these halves. Hang on. Sorry about that. But that's what it looks like all shut up, all tactical. We used to have these field desks in the military. That's kind of the look I was going for. I took all the uh, metal corner protections and top and all that stuff. It's aluminum. Took all that off before I painted it and then I put them back on and painted over it. So it was a nice, good, finished look. And over here on this side, got a couple more handles on there and of course the two handles down there so when we're heave hoeing it wherever you need to go it's it's more transportable than it is portable and the other thing is the use of this thing this box honestly <laughs> you know I designed it after watching what happened with the hurricane on the East Coast all the folks you know a million people without power but realistically, you can use this thing for just about anything. It's like a one-room generator in case something happens with 1,500 watts go power, which is going to have a shelf over here. I still have got to put this in and get it all figured out. Uh, and that'll be this week, later on this week. The inverter won't be in until about Wednesday. So I'll start doing some electronics testing later this week. But I wanted to get the hard stuff done, you know, the painting, before I started dinking with... Uh, the electronics and getting that all sorted out. Uh, added another strap in here that I had laying around for the, for two extra Trojan batteries. Uh, this is a 24 volt configuration at 100 amp hours. Now if it was a 12 volt configuration it would be 200 amp hours. So when I get the extra two batteries in there it's going to be a total of 200 amp hours at 24 volts. Uh, the design to safely run this I, Probably will get about two kilowatt hours overnight is what I'm anticipating which is plenty of power to run a full-size fridge and nightlight whatever you need to run um, and that's the whole idea it's not to be um, you know running a 2,000 watt compressor or full-size air conditioner it may run a small window unit but uh, that's about all she would be able to do and the whole idea is to be a self-sustaining 24-7, if needed, operation here. You know, you got 200 watts of panels here, and I've got it designed with the tracer here. It'll take 600, easily 600, up to 800, at 30 amps, pushing in back into the batteries at 24 volts. So you're talking, <laughs> you know, like I said earlier, over half a kilowatt of power going for charging and for, you know, using the inverter if you need to use it. So going to have enough 
pump but right now you know just with the 200 watt panels like I said I'll be testing later on this week with this you know another use for this too like if you're picnicking tailgating you got a new homestead and you need power you don't want to run a generator and you got enough sun you can use this uh, there's a guy that I subscribe to I forget his uh, comps prepper he uh, he's got a lot of radios and ham equipment uh, at his location this is something that would be really good to use up there too uh, you know with a pure sine wave you have a really good signal and that sine wave pure sine wave inverter is you all listed too so it has you know the RFI and the EMI all that good stuff where it's not gonna be too noisy to work on the electronics so all right hey there you go I just got it plugged in the, the fan the dual fan here I just got it plugged into the outlet here just for testing pretty cool little fan it's got um, you know multiple switches on here for speeds and like I said it draws I'll show you how many watts it draws there 8.4 7.8 8.2 very low wattage fan but high high pushy out air <laughs> it's pushing air out it sucks in through here in the vent and I got the shelf where this is the midpoint right here so one fan's going to be below and one fan's going to suck what, you know, the inverter and stuff up top here. So it's going to get positive airflow through here. Not that it's going to be a heat problem in here anyway. So and with AGMs, of course, you can use it inside. Like I said, man, this thing's really easy to roll around. See? Okay, what you think? All right, I'll let you go, and uh, I'll see you next time. I just wanted to give you a you know a little milestone update on where I'm at on this. It's coming along real good. Hey, thanks for watching. See you.